Hello, my name is Gerd Wemmer. Hello, my name is Gerd Wemmer. Today I'm going to present to you the graphics editor Pass Multi from the automation system PSS 4000. We'll start today with a small ready-made project, which I'll use to demonstrate the editor's graphical interface. When we launch the editor from the Pass 4000 system, we find the project manager on the left-hand side. Here we can create a multi-program with one simple click. Now we're in a user interface where we can add blocks. A block can be added to the displayed interface via the library, which is on the right-hand side under Palette. The library contains the most diverse range of blocks such as fail-safe, non-safety related, standard-based and hardware related blocks, as well as a user library which users can create themselves. We'll simply take one block from this library. The component block means that I add another level to a project. If I give the component block a name, this will be inserted on the user interface. Simply double-click to open this block or level. Additional blocks and sub-projects can now be created at this level. I can take a fail-safe block from the library, such as an emergency stop for example. I'll insert it and store it in this interface. Blocks can be moved to various positions at any time on this interface. On this level, there are small tabs on the left-hand side, known as COP, PIP and PUB. These stand for various functions. COP, for example, means to position a connection point. PIP, for example, means a direct link to the hardware entry level. and PAP means to set a parameter point within a project. The properties for the various points can be changed in the Properties field. I also have the option to change the data type of the various connection points. Here there is the option to choose between a non-safety related type, a bool, or a fail-safe type, an FS safe ball. This is clearly illustrated in the project by a color outline, which changes from gray for non-safety related to yellow for fail-safe. I can do this for all points via this properties field. The inserted function blocks can be changed down here in their properties window. Here I have the option to choose between a single channel or dual channel function and select functions such as time monitoring for simultaneity, delay or other parameters. Standard based control blocks are added to the function blocks in order to create logic connections. For example, take an AND control block. If I zoom in, you can see that this block can be parameterized as both safety related and non safety related. We currently have two non safety related blocks in this project. So we'll change one of them into a fail safe block and recognize this by the color changing from green to yellow. On the AND control block, I have the option to create the most diverse range of functions. This means that the data type can be changed here depending on the function it is assigned in advance. Connection points are available for connecting function blocks to control blocks. These are shown in black with a yellow border for safety related blocks. Here I can connect the most diverse range of functions.
On the input side, I have connected a connection point to a safety-related control block and a function block. To carry these to an output, I have contact output connections on the right-hand side or another PIP, which I can use to connect directly to the hardware. I'll take a PIP and connect this point directly to the output. To do this, I must also convert it to a safety-related data type. Again, I can do this via the Properties window, which is in the lower area of the screen. So now I have created the connection and made a small configuration. The name can be assigned directly on these functions. By right-clicking, I can rename the element to connection. This is also possible on the output side. When I close this window, we will see that the block with its corresponding parameter outputs and connection points has been stored on our first level interface. To create additional blocks, I proceed as follows. Once again, I drag components to the interface, open this page, and then create my project using control blocks and function blocks. I can also connect them at this level. So, so having used the graphics editor together, there should be nothing stopping you from implementing your own project. Have fun!